Uh, but what we did not anticipate that also has happened is the time that it's taking for the uh, approvals of the Nevada Department of Environmental Protection, NDEP. And we did not anticipate uh, the challenges both legally and politically that have occurred during the last year to seek to revoke it, all of which occurred more than two years after it started. Um, around, uh, again, as you're aware, about June of 2009 this year was when um, the public scrutiny began. That has also made an impact with the per permitting with NDP. We continue to have dialogue fairly consistently with them as we're trying to uh, work out these issues and clarifications and the application is still under review by NDEP. Um, for the air quality application, that was, we uh, retained our consultant in 2008 to help prepare the application. That application was submitted in January of 2009. That draft permit was issued in May of 2009 and went out for public comment. Uh, as part of the public comment process, it was requested that a public meeting be held. Uh, that meeting was held in August of 2009 here in this room. And following that meeting, NDEP has to create responses to each and every comment presented. Uh, it's been a pretty lengthy response. Since the approval in 2007, we have worked to develop the applications and support the processing of the applications by the state agencies. Um, again, when we were here before this board in 2007, we had anticipated three to five years uh, to get all this wrapped up and, and get up and running. Uh, we certainly did not anticipate at this time um, delays. <laughs> um, you know, this has uh, not only been impacted um, just in the back and forth of the agencies, but also impacted uh, as of June of 2009 when local, state, and federal t uh, attention to the project has also helped in the delay of the permitting efforts, uh, resulting in additional scrutiny and delays in the permitting process. But, you know, we've uh, continued to require additional legal support, not only uh, in support of the general advancement of the project, but also uh, to, for assistance with the efforts on the revocation of the condi conditional use permit. Um, working with the county on host agreement language, um, support with the state and federal interference to the permitting process and various other public meetings. There were a few other facts, I think there are circumstances that are important that have served to delay this project during the last year. Uh, NDET, NDEP permits have been delayed uh, considerably in, in our opinion in the last uh, six months to a year because of third party intervention. Uh, last year, there were two petitions filed to uh, revoke the special use permit or the conditional use permit. We had a hearing before this commission <coughs> in October of last year, at which time this commission found that there was no basis to initiate revocation. That was appealed to the county commissioner. We had the county commission. We had a hearing there in November. The county commission upheld your decision. That is now a lawsuit in court that's challenging the decision of this board not to pursue a revocation. There's a hearing set on that, and that lawsuit in May of this year, and there will be a decision whether there will be appeal is unknown at this point in time. But that is a, a factor that impacts the whole process when you're being sued to revoke your permit. In addition, uh, it's not a surprise that there was a local group that has been formed to politically oppose the project, and they have effectively put political pressure on local and state and federal authorities, uh, went so far as a a letter from the United States Senator to the Governor of Nevada asking him to intercede in the permitting process uh, that was going on with NDEP. That was, in my opinion, quite an extraordinary event. Uh, the results of which are predictable. The project is under greater scrutiny. We don't mind the greater scrutiny. We're satisfied that we can meet any requirement anybody puts on us, but we can't deny that it has caused delay. Aaron alluded to one of the things that was a direct uh, delay with respect to the air permit. NDEP was ready to issue the air permit and issued a draft one in May of last year. Opposition requested a hearing. They're entitled to do that, but there was a hearing in August. Many, many comments. NDEP has to respond to those comments. Cause a substantial delay. And, and I'm not suggesting that anybody doesn't have the right to voice their opposition or to challenge it but I don't think they can deny that that has caused a delay, and the delay was unanticipated at the time that we got this conditional use permit almost three years ago, 
and certainly beyond the control of Jungle Land. We're not, not happy about the opposition. We're trying to uh, present the facts in, in order to address it. And I hope that this board and anyone else can understand and appreciate how difficult it is to proceed with a project, especially a project this magnitude, where your permit is being subject to legal attack 